Time anger over the administration's policy did not die down over the weekend with more protests around the country. And as CBS 4 Stephen Portnoy reports, the president fueled the fire with even more with a tweet. President Trump continued his push for stronger immigration policies this weekend. He tweeted, we cannot allow all of these people to invade our country. When somebody comes in, we must immediately, with no judges or court cases, bring them back from where they came. You know, they want to hire now 5,000 more judges so that a person puts the toe on the land that we have to go to trial. This is crazy what we're doing. A 1996 law allows for the immediate deportation of newly arrived immigrants arrested near the border. But those who seek asylum are given the chance to have a judge hear their plea. Uh, under the law, they have a right to establish their claim of asylum, that they're in a, in a legitimate fear for their life, that they're fleeing persecution in their home country. Some of the president's own allies in Congress have suggested hiring more immigration judges to process a growing backlog of cases. Many Republicans believe the president's own recent statements have undermined efforts to pass immigration reform. It's difficult in any event, uh, right in an election year, uh, where the president has decided to have this at the forefront of the Republican election strategy uh, to paint the presidents as, or the Democrats as soft on immigration. So it seems very unlikely. The House is expected to take up a broad immigration reform bill, but it appears unlikely it will get enough votes to pass. Republican leaders are then expected to shift to a more narrow bill, focused on keeping families together when they're detained at the border. The Department of Homeland Security says it has reunited 522 children with their parents, but there are more than 2,000 children separated and still in shelters. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, the White House. The Department of Health and Human Services says it knows the location of all children in its care and is working to reunite them with their families. And stay on top of the latest with the CBS Miami News app. Find it at CBS Local in your app store and download that. Then scroll down until you see Miami and click it.